I'm sure that Michelangelo was not the only sculptor in Rome who was earning a living by making antiquities. Making forgeries of antiquities uh, would have paid a sculptor considerably more than he would have made for a contemporary object. And so to make a bogus antiquity would earn him a profit seven to ten times more than he would earn for a contemporary production. Before he goes to Rome, Michelangelo executes um, a sleeping Cupid. And while in Rome, it gets buried in the ground to make it look much older than it had been made two weeks ago, whereupon it was transacted by a dealer and sold as an antique to a wealthy cardinal. It's altogether possible uh, that there are other objects like the sleeping Cupid that are housed in museums but miscatalogued as, as by Roman or Greek sculptors, and they are can quite possibly be works by fantastic sculptors like Michelangelo. The idea that Michelangelo carved the Laocoon is very interesting. It makes us rethink the whole nature of the sculpture and of its discovery. He was responsible, Michelangelo, that is, for helping to put it back together. And in the process of doing so, of course, he would have had to repair it, maybe even polish it, make it more perfect. I doubt very seriously whether this very ambitious sculpture, multiple blocks of marble, could have been carved entirely by Michelangelo without anybody knowing about it. The circle of artists very close to him would have known about the Laguan and his connection to it. I think they probably had a tight code of secrecy because I'm sure that Michelangelo was not the only sculptor in Rome who was earning a living by making antiquities. <laughs>